so let's see today the next one more important class for mcse so in today's session we try to see what is profile how to create a profile of a user and what are the profiles uh, available for user how to create and how to manage the user profile okay so today is going to be uh, one of the important class and not only important even uh, it is like one more uh, one of the interesting class for mcs okay <clears throat> so in today's session we are going to see types of profile okay so one of the profile we have local roaming mandatory okay so before we know like what is local profile what is roaming profile what is mandatory profile first of all we need to understand what is actually a profile here okay what is the use of profile okay so the first thing a profile plays very very important thing okay so <clears throat> before we understand what is the advantage of profile now uh, let me try to show you some example Let's say this is our server, and we have many computers connected on network. This is our domain. So on the network, let's say PC one, we have PC two, we have PC three, like that. Uh, many machines are available. These are all clients. and all the machines are connected to our domain network we have a server here and all the machines are available on the network okay so let's say today a new employee joins the company and for that employee what i have done as a administrator i have given account okay let's say his name is khan and when he join a company whenever he want to perform any task whenever he want to work for company as a administrator i have given one account to him okay so can han log into pc3 uh will he able to log in here what kind of access we need to give i created account here so will he log into pc uh, pc3 Mm-hmm. See, uh, uh, in the last session, like we discussed about two types of account. One is local, one is domain, right? And whatever account we are going to see here, so we are not talking about the personal account. Okay. So whenever I say user, so by default you need to understand we are talking about domain user. So now. whenever anybody comes to the company and as a administrator what i'm doing on the top of my server i'm creating account i created so by using that account can user log into pc3 account means he will be having his name he will be having his password all the details so by using the name and password can he able to log into pc3 yes he can log in okay now let's say user log into pc3 and whenever somebody log on to the machine do you think they do any task or they simply sit on computer so what of the people available in company they will work or simply they sit on computer just so definitely they do they do work and what were the you know uh, what were the work assigned to those people so 
they are going to perform certain tasks okay suppose khan is a autocad engineer okay and what is his duty so whenever he log in by using application he try to make uh, design elevation what were the task given now by using certain application now the user is going to perform certain thing okay suppose khan is a data entry operator now again once he log in he start you know doing his work okay suppose he is a manager so what were the task given so he start doing his task okay so that means whenever anybody even like we are the admin so whenever we log in so we are not going to just sit on a machine we are going to perform certain task okay so maybe like we are making account we are going to reset a password we are going to do something so whatever task available we need to perform okay similarly like not only the administrator we have hundreds of people each and every employee they are going to perform a different different task okay so now let's say uh, when khan joined company the company has given a timing okay see every person is having some timing okay so i say you you have to come to the company 9 am and your duty is available up to 6 pm right so 9 to 6 pm now you need to perform your task means uh, whenever you come to the company your duty is you are you are do uh, you are going your work is going to start from morning 9 to evening 6 pm so today let's say khan log in so at what time he log in so he is going to log in at 9 am and after logging to the machine now he start using a computer and not only he use computer whatever applications are available he start using the application if internet is available now he can able to access a lot of thing from internet so whatever it may be now now the user is going to start working on a machine okay after some time what the user has done suppose whatever the task given by company based on that maybe by using certain application he created his own file means uh, he he make a design and whatever he did he is going to save something so on the desktop let's say he saves 10 files okay i'm just giving example to understand why because whenever you log in you are going to perform certain things okay apart from uh, storing the data on the desktop let's say uh, internet is available and the project where he is working according to the project now he is going to download certain pictures so pictures doesn't mean like a hero hero in picture so based on his project now he download all his uh, pictures okay apart from that uh, even he also in uh, store some information like he uh, save some document document file okay so like that he start working on a machine and he is going to save a lot of files lot of information on his, on the computer okay so till then means after storing all this data so this is not just only one hour task so complete one day he is doing all this task okay so 6 pm duty is over what the user will do now this user is going to log off from this machine see whenever uh, your duty finish so what we do we, we are going to log off and we come to our home then next day again we come to the company right clear now let's say suppose today i finish my work i went to my home next day i come to the company and when i come next day suppose instead of pc3 can han log into pc1 can he log in here how hmm so here the account which we are going to see first of all we need to see like what is this account this is not a personal account this account is not created on the top of this local machine okay so last time like we talk about two types of user one is called local account one is called domain account local account can be log on to the machine where it was created means okay so local account created on a client computer means your personal machine if you make account if you have a laptop and on the top of laptop if you create account so that account can be log on to the machine where you created let's say suppose you have a laptop and you make account and by using your account if you want to log on to the company machine by using your laptop account if you want to log on to my laptop uh, laptop so that is not possible okay but when you talk about uh, account that is created on server when you talk about the account which is created on the top of active directory which is your main uh, centralized server so now normally what happen here so when you make account here so this 
servers allow the people who can able to log on anywhere. Okay. So yesterday Khan log into this machine and he perform lot of tasks. Suppose Khan log into PC one. Okay, he can log in. Why? Because he can log into PC one. He can log into PC two. Now Khan can log on to all the machine by default. So we don't have a restrictions here. Okay, fine. But now the question comes: When Khan log in yesterday, he saved many things. On the uh, you know on the desktop he saved many files. He download some pictures as well as he saved lot of files on the document. Now uh, when Khan log on to some other machine, will that information also available here? Or not? Why? How the data is available? Okay. So these things we are going to see in today's session. Okay. So first of all, right now you cannot say the data is available. Even I cannot say it is not available. First of all, we need to see what is the profile of a user. This is actually depends on the profile. Okay, so basically uh, we have some categories in profile. We have something like local. We also have roaming. We also have mandatory. So based on the category, based on profile, now the settings will be applied. Okay. So first of all, what is the meaning of profile? What is this? Profile means what? What is this uh, profile meaning in our day-to-day -day life? What is profile mean? Profile mean? Okay. Let's say suppose uh, you have an interview tomorrow. Okay. So the person who take interview, do you think he already knows about you? So how he comes to know about you? Yeah, so we give our resume. Okay, so in resume, we are going to maintain all of our information, like uh, who are you, your address, and your 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 you know your mobile number, your email ID. Apart from that, like if you have any experience, what qualification you have, and where actually you work. Okay, what was your previous experience, and okay, so like that, you may have some information. Okay. So the person who's going to take interview, who you know, he automatically comes to know. Okay, this is your uh, experience. This is your information. Everything. So according to your uh, CV, according to your resume, now he's going to take your interview. Okay, he he will he don't know anything. So resume is nothing but it is one kind of profile. Okay, so that is one profile actually where you have some information. Okay, similarly, let's say suppose after joining company. One of uh, you know one of your friend asks you like what is your job profile, so you you will not give a profile you know resume, you will not give a resume to him. Okay, so again you have one condition. Yeah, you will be having uh, one of the profile in company. Okay, so you may say like you are the system administrator, you are work to manage all the servers. You know you your work is to maintain all the big uh, you know the backup. You need to maintain all these things. Okay, that means you may have one profile. Okay. So that means, so each and every time, based on the requirement, you have different different profiles. See, that's uh, just I have given examples to understand. Okay. Similarly, now when you talk about profile in network, also every person is going to have a, a you know some profile. Means whenever user log into computer, now the the user is going to have a profile. Okay. So it may be like local profile. It may be a you know. A roaming profile, or it may be mandatory profile. So the user is going to have a profile on a machine, so that according to the profile, you know, some kind of setting will be available. Okay. So here, profile means right now I'm saying profile is a folder. What is this folder? The name of the folder we call document and setting. So have you seen this folder, document and setting? So in old operating system, the folder was available. Okay. So 
So like all operating system means like if you install XP operating system, if you install, uh, you know, 98, 95, 2003, 2000. So when you install the all operating system, when you open the C drive, some folders are by default available. Okay. One folder is like, uh, you know, Windows, you have different, different folders are available. You know, when you install operating system, some folders are by default available. And one of the folder you may have document and settings. Okay. So up to XP, the folder was available. Then after XP, you know, Microsoft introduced uh, the next operating system like this, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. Like that we have, uh, you know, uh, an, um, uh, we can say uh, some operating system will be available. So today what Microsoft has done, Microsoft renamed this folder as users. Have you seen this user folder? Where it is? C drive. Okay. So where the folder is available, the operating system where you install. Okay. So normally, like we install operating system on the C drive. When you open C drive, let me show you. Okay. So when you open the C drive, when like let's say this is my computer, I open the C drive. So here you can see. Uh, some folders are by default available, like one of the folder we have Windows, we have program file, we have pop lock, Intel, and one of the folder we have user. Okay, this is default. We are not creating anything here. Okay. So now you know why the Microsoft has given this folder. So what this folder actually maintains. When you talk about Windows, you have all the operating system files, all the programming, like whatever you have in your operating system, everything will be available here. Whenever you install any application, now the application information will be maintained on the top of uh, you know the program file. Similarly, now when you talk about this folder user, so this folder maintain all the user information whoever log into this machine. Okay, so if we are using a personal machine, suppose this is my personal computer. So who use personal machine? This is my property, and I'm I'm the only person I'm using this one, right? So that means when when I install operating system here, I created my name account. So when I open this user folder here, you can see one folder is available by my name. Why? Because this is my property and this folder is available for me only. Means when you open this, now I have all my settings. Okay, desktop setting, document, uh, we have all this. Okay, but when you talk about the you know the user, okay. So we are creating account on the top of server and these people, they actually log on. So uh, the, the people of company, they are going to log on to different, different machines. Let's say, suppose here they are seen, we created last time. So one more time I log in. <sighs> password. Okay, we change the password, right? Now, so when you open the C drive, so here you can see one folder is automatically available by the name. Yeah. So whoever log in, now the information of that employee will be available here. Okay. So here I log in as administrator, and here we also log in as Yasu. Now, if you log in as Ali, one folder will be available by the name Ali. If you log in as Sam, one folder will be available by the name Sam. So whoever log into this machine, uh, because this is not a property of anybody, this is a company property. And company means anybody can log in here. Okay. So whatever the account you created on server, so that account can be logged on anywhere. So today maybe Ali log in, next time maybe uh, Sam log in, one of the time maybe Han log in, one of the time like uh, Rahul log in, uh, Ajay log in. So like that, different different people can be logged on to different different machines. Okay. So here we need to understand profile. We have, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, profile is like a folder and that folder contain collection of settings. What kind of setting? So that folder describes desktop, user desktop, user document, user download, user pictures, and all other definable settings and options. So whenever you try to open this folder, so this folder doesn't mean like you just have only desktop. This folder give you the information uh, it may be related to desktop, document, contact, favorite, music, 
you know, the pictures, we have a lot of settings here. So all these settings are going to define the profile of a user. Okay. Now come to the main point profile. We have three categories. One is called local profile. One is roaming profile as well as one are one of the profile we have mandatory profile. Apart from three, the first profile we call local and local is also called as default default profile default means so who create local profile so that profile is not going to create by anybody so now normally what happened here let's say you have a network and i just create account here on the top of my server let's say i create an account by the name uh, let's say i i create ali ali account so now the machine, we have EC1, and suppose Ali log into this machine. So whenever I try to log in, so here Ali will give his name when uh, and he will give a password. And so before Ali log in, so what this machine will do, now this computer is going to have operating system, right? On the operating system, we have a folder, users. In that user folder, what the machine will do? Now this computer, it is going to create a folder by the name Ali. Okay. So when, when you put name and when you put password, when you press enter, so now the user is going to log in. Okay. So before the session is available for user in background, what the computer will do. So this computer has, uh, this computer is going to have operating system that is in C drive inside the C drive. One folder will be available like users inside that folder one folder is going to be uh, created the name of the folder will be ali so why because we log in as ali if you log in as jack one more folder created by the name jack here okay now on the same machine suppose next time some other people log in like sam one more folder created by the name sam if some other people log in so whoever log in what the machine is going to do now the machine itself it is going to create a folder of these people okay so now uh, what is local profile local is also called a default profile so this profile, uh, you know, it's the profile which is created by computer. Means whenever anybody, any user log in, now the profile of that user is going to create only by this computer. And what happened here after after login? Now Ali is going to start storing some data. Let's say Ali he uh, he tried to save some information. Let's say he saved ten files on the desktop. He saved twenty files on the document. Okay. And he also stored some 10 pictures like that. He, he starts saving a lot of files on his machine. Okay. So uh, duty of the user, like uh, nine to 6 PM. So till 6 PM, he saved many files. So once he log off, okay, what happened here? So whatever the data he saved, so that information is going to store on a machine where he log in Min, Okay. So available only on that computer only. So when Ali log off from this machine, whatever he save on the desktop document download you know whatever the settings which we have seen so profile doesn't mean only desktop profile uh, give you the information of the document download picture music you know we have multiple settings so all the settings of user is going to save on a machine where user login okay next day suppose ali login to pc5 can you log in here So will Ali log in here? Yes, he can log in. Why? Because he is giving his name, he is giving password. So when you press enter, my request will go to server. Server is going to identify whether the name is correct, password is correct. Yes, you can log in. So once Ali log in, so whatever the data which is saved here, will that information available for Ali? Okay. Now, if Ali is having a local profile, first of all, we need to see what is the profile of this person. If the profile of Ali is default, if the person, if the Ali is having a local profile, now where, wherever he log in, now the data is not going to be available. Okay. So when Ali log into PC5, so this computer is going to have operating system. Why? Because this is also a computer. So this machine is also having C drive. This machine also having user folder. So what this computer will do? Now this company also create a profile uh, uh, folder by the name Ali. So this machine also create a profile of this user. 
and whatever is doing now when he log off that information will be available on this computer next time if adi log into some other machine whatever he keep here whatever he store here now that information will not be available here again this machine also create a profile and whatever he do here the data will be available on this machine okay so local is a profile which is created by computer and available only on that machine okay so practically i am going to show you this okay that means in local profile data will not be available wherever user log in this thing you need to keep in mind okay in local profile data available only on a machine where he log in okay if user log into pc1 he can store anything but if he log into some other machine now the data will not be available now practically how we can do now i'll go to my server and i make fresh account so that we don't have confusion so this is my server online mcsc and i'll open my active directory and see last time we created already two accounts like umar and yasin now we try to create uh, some uh, different account let's say i create account by the name ali only put a password i don't want to change the password but in a company compulsory you have to put that check mark so we are using for the test purpose now another account i create to show practical for roaming so now only i create so now one more account i am creating by the name khan so that means two accounts i created okay so these are the two new employees okay so will they log in somewhere are just new just created okay so still like these people they are not log in anywhere right so now i'm going to log in i go to my client machine and remember the account where you create don't log in to server user they are not going to log in on server where the user log in the user the user is going to log in on the client machine which you created now the username let yeah whatever account you created we created like ali we created account like umar khan so these people where actually they log in they log in anywhere on mcsc dot uh, online mcsc means whatever domain you have whatever network you created in a network you have hundreds of machine they can log into any machine but they, they they will not log into this server okay server they cannot log in why because server is actually used by administrator there is a security where they can log in they can log in anywhere now so i'll say ali password so first time ali is going to log in so password so whenever user log in first time just see here what the machine saying he saying hi and we are setting think of for you so what is actually happening in background so what the machine is doing right now okay so this computer is having operating system on the operating system one folder is available by the name users in that folder what the computer is doing computer is going to create a folder by the name ali in that folder in ali folder he is going to set up all the settings desktop document download picture music game all the setting is going to create okay so now the machine is ready so first of all let me show you open the c drive and here you can see one folder is created by ali one folder is also there umar one folder is also available by name why because uh, by seeing these you can say okay first of all let me show you the name now pc5 is actually a client of my domain is one of the computer which is connected on my domain so if i want to know how many people log into pc5 so just open the c drive in that user folder now you can see how many people log in so this computer user uh, log in by three employees 
one is ali one is uh, umar and one is my name okay public nothing it's just available that is not account for so whenever you the login one folder automatically created by compare itself okay that is a local profile okay now suppose ali login before ali suppose already umar login so can ali see the data of umar or can umar see the data of any other people so here you may have hundreds of folders so whenever you the login you can see multiple folders available now if i log in as khan one more folder is available by name khan now if i log in as jack the name of the jack is also available so normally what happen ali can see all his data ali can see his settings means ali can see his desktop document download pictures all the thing he can see ali but ali doesn't have privilege he cannot see the data of other people see when i try to open now for me the computer saying you don't currently have permission to access when ali want to open these folders the computer will be so this is by default only so you cannot see the data of other people but you can see your data means if i log in as umar now umar can open his folder if you log in as ali ali can open his folder if you log in as this user now this user can open his folder but if you log in as administrator administrator can open everything okay so that means whoever log in to pc5 if you log in as administrator now administrator can open any of why because he is a owner he is he can do anything right now so first of all i log in as a user which user user name is ali so how to know ali is having local profile roaming manager how to see profile so i want to know what is the profile of user so how we can see profile now if you want to see the profile you can open control panel see if you want to know like the profile of user is local roaming manager then open control panel so here you can write control now we got control panel here so this is our control panel so when you open control panel we have user account and one more time we are, we are going to click user account and here one option is available you see this configure advanced user profile property you have to click this so when you click now it will try to show you the actual information so who is this person the username is ali and ali is a part of your online mcsc and here you can see the type is local status is local if the profile is local so both the side it show you local local if the profile is roaming on both the side it show you roaming roaming if the profile is mandatory on both the side it show you mandatory mandatory now one more time so we use a login so this person actually log into a machine pc5 and and the user is having a local profile let's say suppose ali is to start storing some data let's say he he start storing some data let's say uh, on the desktop he uh, he created a folder by the name data on the desktop suppose he is making some file something is doing and remember profile is not only desktop profile you can have document download picture these are all settings do anything here okay so let's say after login to the machine ali store many thing and duty is over ali is going to log off so where actually ali log in he log in to pc5 he see he log in to pc5 not server so ali log in to pc5 remember this name on pc5 what he did he saved lot of file he saved some data on the desktop document something he stored now duty is over ali is going to log off he signed out from the machine where actually he saved file next ali come to the company and some other machine is also available see what is this computer now i also have pc3 can ali log in to pc3 yes he can log in why because 
they are working on a centralized network. Ali, a user can log in to anywhere. So now I put name Ali, I put password. So Ali come to this computer and he put his name and put his password. So when Ali log into this machine, this computer will say hi. Same thing is happening here. So why this machine saying hi? Well, because this computer also create a profile of that user. So what about my data? So what were data stored by user? Like on the desktop, he saved a folder. On the desktop, he saved files. Where are those files? So those files will not be available wherever user login. So the file will be available. Then uh, you know uh, the file actually saved on that machine. Means on this computer now the data actually saved. So if Ali log into this machine now he can able to see that data again. Okay. So in local profile, the data will not be available. You can see here on here, I log in as same person, but whatever the data he saved on PC five, so that information is not available on PC three. But because this is a separate machine, it's a different computer. But Ali log in to the same machine PC five, now the data will be available. Okay, but again, suppose if you log in to different different machine every time, so now the data is not going to be available. That is your local profile. So local is a profile which is created by computers, and the information will be available only on that computer only. This is the information. The next type of profile we call roaming. Okay, so roaming is a profile which is created by administrator. Okay, now this is our responsibility. Local created by whom? Local created by computer. When user log into that machine, when somebody log in. now the machine itself it is going to create a profile of that person okay but now roaming is a profile created by administrator store the data on the server side and can be accessed from all the machine in a network okay now when you talk about roaming profile roaming it is first created by admin okay let's say in a company you have 200 people okay so as admin what i'm doing i create suppose if you create 200 account in your server so just creating account automatically the person is not having roaming profile so when you make 200 account by default you can say the profile of each and every employee is local it's a default we are not creating a local profile okay so now you need to decide apart from 200 people which employee you need to give a roaming to whom you want roaming this is your responsibility you need to manually configure that okay that is your roaming profile roaming is a profile created by administrator i mean that profile has to be created manually okay now what happen if you have given a roaming profile then any advantage no yeah that's what i'm asking is there any advantage for the roaming profile now let's see so now uh, let's say uh, we have a user khan suppose khan i am giving a roaming profile okay so what will happen so how to give man uh, roaming manually uh, you know practically i'll show you but imagine suppose khan i have given a, a roaming profile so what will happen here so when khan log into pc1 by the way is is employed somewhere he is going to log in okay so on pc1 now the khan is going to log in once he log in he is he is having what roaming profile but because roaming i have already given from server so once he log into pc1 now every employee as i told you he is going to work something on the top of this machine let's say he save 10 files on the desktop on the document he save 20 files and he save some pictures okay like that he start uh, you know using that machine and on the top of that machine he start keeping lot of files he start keeping lot of information okay now after some time let's say imagine now the duty is over 
So he is going to log off. So once he log off, what happens? Once he log off, now this complete information is going to save on where server. Okay. Previously, what happened is the profile is local. Now this information will be stored on the local hard disk of this computer, on the C drive, on the user folder, on the name folder. Now the data will be stored. But if the user is having a roaming profile, in roaming all the data is going to be saved on the server side. And next time when uh, Khan log in anywhere, maybe like PC one, maybe uh, suppose he log into PC five, he log into PC three. Suppose future, after some time, maybe next day, suppose he log into some other machine. What will happen here? From the server, now the same as it is information will be available. So he can see like all the ten files, all the twenty document, all the pictures. He can see. Okay. So in roaming profile, the user feel himself. Whenever he log into a machine, he actually feels like every time I log into same computer because of setting. Okay, but actually he, you know, previously he was log into PC one. Now he log into PC five. But because of these setting, he feels I log into the same machine all the time. Okay, this kind of profile we call as roaming profile. Roaming is a profile created by admin, store the data on the server side. And can be accessed all his settings from each and every machine in network. Okay, so now he log into PC one. Next time he log into PC ten. He log into PC twenty. Like that, wherever user log in, now the information will be available. See by name itself. You know what is roaming? Roaming means suppose if I'm using a if I'm using a mobile and I go Delhi. So will I change my number, Delhi? If I go Mumbai, if I go Kerala, so that means for me it's not compulsory. Like where if I go different, uh, if I go different different state, then I have to purchase different different SIM. No, it's not compulsory. Okay, so the same number I can use everywhere. Here also the same thing. When user log into PC one and whatever he is storing, so. If I give a roaming profile, doesn't matter you log into PC one, doesn't matter you log into PC five, you log in anywhere, you actually get your data. Okay, that is your roaming profile. Okay, now first thing I will tell you, roaming created by administrator. So this is our responsibility. Okay, so the next question comes. So when user try to store data, and when he log off. This information is actually saved on server. Where in server? It is on C drive or D drive. Suppose in server we have three partitions. So where actually the data of user save on the server? On the C, on the D, or E? Okay. So this profile created by administrator. So when you create, so when you want to make roaming. Now you have to remember all the settings. So this is my responsibility. Even I'm going to decide when user log off, the data of user is going to save on my server itself. So you want to save on C drive, you want to save on D, or you want to save on E. I have to decide first. Okay. So for that, the first step to make roaming, you have to create shared folder. Okay. So that shared folder either you create on C. The shared folder either you create on D or the shared folder you create on E. Doesn't matter wherever you want, you can create. <coughs> Suppose you have only one partition, you can, you have to make that shared folder. You also have C or D, so you can make you can maintain the roaming information on the top of D drive, right? So now what we can do? So uh, we have to make shared folder. Just open the drive, create a folder, and share it. And when you share, one thing you remember, you have to give full control permission. So practically, I'll show you this. The first step is you have to create a shared folder. Okay. The next step. So the profile will be given by admin. To whom we are giving? We are giving to users. How many people we have in uh, our server? Two hundred people are available. So to whom you want to give roaming profile? Right. I'm not giving roaming profile to all the people. So, to a specific person, if you are you uh, you know giving a roaming profile, you have to remember that. Okay. So that information will be available on 
server on the top of ad the second step is after making share folder you have to open active directory and from here what you need to do you have to select user why because when you talk about ad when you open your active directory active directory you have hundreds of people so to whom you want roaming now you have to select that person and you have to go the properties of the user just go the properties and in properties you have to select profile tab okay so practically i'll show you this just i'm showing some theoretical part here then there you have multiple option one of the option you have to select profile path in profile path you have to use double power slash the name of your server server name then name of the share folder share name and username this is called unc path okay so let's see practically i'll show you so the first step to make roaming you have to go to the server So what's the first step? To create a roaming profile, first step you have to make a share folder. See right now uh, the server where I'm sitting, I have only one partition. So it's not compulsory you also have one. Suppose you may have two, three. So wherever you want, you can create a share folder. Open a partition and make a share folder. We already have some share folder, but I make separate. I create a share folder by the name Rome. So. this is just folder not share share it right click and sharing we have already done so we can go sharing and uh, if you want you can go advanced sharing no problem and i'll tell you when you create a share folder you have to give full control permission to whom you are giving full control everyone suppose if you forget this roaming cannot be created so if you want to make a roaming profile make sure the prof uh, the permission has to be full control apply okay apply okay so the first step we have done we created share folder what is the second step the second step we need to open ad act to directly users and computers and here you can see there are lot of employees uh, information available like we have sayed yasin we have umar we have khan we also have ali now to which employee you want to give a roaming profile Okay, so let me uh, give you. Uh, I want to give a roaming profile to Han. So just select the user and go properties. And here we have a tab, profile tab. This is our profile tab. In profile tab, we have to select profile path. And here you have to give the UNC path. Means here you have to put double power slash name of the server, server name, then slash user uh, share folder name, share name, and the name of the user is. username this is called unc path so drop forward slash name of the server what is the server name so on the mcsc is the name of a domain is a organization name is it, this is your network name this is not a server name how uh, so how to find server one so server name you can see The, the name of the server computer name is dc1 the name of the domain is all an mcs so don't give this we need the server name server name is dc1 so now forward slash dc1 is the name of the server then slash uh, what is the name of the share folder name of the share folder is rom and to whom i am giving this i am giving to khan clear Our name, user, uh, share folder name, as well as share folder uh, user name, and make sure spelling has to be correct. If you do mistake here, the profile cannot be created. Apply, okay. So once you uh, once you click apply, okay. Now the profile we have given. So from you know from admin side we have done okay. Now to see result we need to go any client. 
Okay, and here I put a name, username is Khan and password. And remember in roaming, only first time the computer will say hi. Why? Because he didn't log in anywhere. You know, after creating account, the user has not logged in anywhere. That's why first time the computer will say, uh, uh, we create all your settings. But once he logs in first time, all the settings are created. And once he log off, everything is going to save on the server. After that, let's even see, I also have an, another client. So PC3 also, he didn't log in, okay? In local profile, what happened? In local profile, user, whenever user log in first time, now the machine is going to create a profile. But in roaming, it, it will not do like that, okay? So only one time the machine say hi, and every time wherever he log in, from the server, he can take all the settings. Okay. So first of all, let's see, what is this computer? The name of the machine, PC5. So that means Khan log into PC5, remember this. How to see profile? I want to check the profile of this user. How to check profile? To check profile, we need to open control panel. Remember this. If you want to know the profile of a user, open control panel. Control panel open user account. Again, user account. And here one option will be there. Configure advanced user profile properties. When you click, so here you get the information. Who is now the name of the user is Khan. And this person is a part of the online MCSC. And the profile of this user is roaming as well as roaming. See, both the side is showing roaming. That means it's a roaming profile. But if you do mistake, here it show you temporary, here it show you local. That means it's not a roaming. Sometimes it's like roaming and local. That is not a roaming. Roaming means both the site has to be roaming, roaming. Then only it's a roaming. Otherwise, it is not roaming. Now the profile of a user is roaming and Khan log into PC5. Now let's try to store some data here. Suppose this user is working on a project and based on that, he is trying to save some files on, he creating a folder and that folder, he is storing some information. Save. Not only that, make many whatever you want. <sighs> Let's have some pictures uh, I'll keep. Okay, no problem. So this is the profile is not only desktop. Apart from desktop, I also keep some document. So just imagine this is a document file, download. Like that, you need to keep a lot of files on different, different locations. So why? Because profile is not only desktop setting. Profile, you have collection of setting. It describes the desktop, document, music, pictures, okay? And not only that, let me, uh, I'll change my desktop background. Okay. Personalize. Okay. So I change the settings. Right? So imagine, so from morning to evening, after login, I'm doing a lot of tasks. Okay, some of the tasks, you know, I save on the desktop, some of the tasks I download, some of the tasks maybe, you know, I keep on document, like that I have done everything, okay? 
so one more time i'll show you where actually i did this so khan did all this thing on the top of pc5 imagine duty is over so once my duty over i'm going to log off not sign off so we are going to sign out so once i sign off all my data automatically go to server and next time suppose i log in i'm going to log into pc3 still i didn't log in i'll log in here so i'm going to log into khan so here you can see so for khan it look like same machine but actually he log into different machine all the desktop remain same and pc uh, the name of the machine was uh, pc3 but he actually log into pc5 okay so like that in roaming uh, the user feel like every day whenever he log in he actually log into the same computer okay understand this this is your roaming profile 